Hey guys, Scott Webster here with Android Guys, and today I want to show you a little bit of an application that I've been playing with for the last few days that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, it's from audiobooks.com, and what we're looking at right now is the actual website on a computer, uh, but I'll get back to that here in just a moment. Uh, this is actually a really cool experience if you're into audiobooks at all. Uh, you like it. For me, I like to listen to it when I'm in the office. Uh, I can pick up where I leave off. I can go from uh, device to device and sync or pick up from where my uh, last listen was. And uh, it's a really cool little application slash service. So uh, real quick, I want to show you this. Uh, you'll see that the price for this is $24.95 a month for unlimited access. Now that is for unlimited audiobooks. You do get a seven day trial if you want to try it out ahead of time. You can see that right there on the website. Uh, and, and check out some books. There are more than 10,000 books on here. Uh, some popular authors they do list at the bottom of the website here. Uh, you'll see Stephen King, uh, James Patterson, Dan Brown, Nicholas Sparks, and so forth. So feel free to uh, poke around, see what they have. It's a really cool experience, but let's get to the Android application. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll take a look at it. And this is on a Samsung Galaxy S2. And just a bit about this application as we get in focus here. This is available for Android 2.3 and above. Now this is not an actual application. You'll see that I'm in the website when you go to audiobooks.com. So it will redirect. It knows that you're listening or checking it out on a browser. Uh, we have a test account here. So want to continue listening to my application. It tells me I can continue to listen to my uh, Operation Family Secrets. I'm a big mafia fan, mobster, stuff like that. So listen into this. Uh, we can go in, continue. What it does is it will open up, get it in focus, and you'll see that there's a play button. And I'm four hours and 13 minutes into a 10 hour book. And turn the volume up. 3645 North Pacific Avenue in Chicago, north of Elmwood Park. Sophie was living in one half of the duplex owned by my father. And you see at the bottom, you can go back 30 seconds, half, forward 10 seconds, turn the volume down. You can jump forward 30 seconds, back 30 seconds, and also pause. Um, we can go in and browse. We can continue to actually check by um, categories if we're into sci-fi. Click on that. And it breaks it down to specifically Star Trek, short stories, go into science fiction. And the first one there is Minority Report and Other Stories by Philip K. Dick. Another guy that I really like. Uh, we can check this book out. And this is a guy who did Total Recall, Blade Runner, other things. Um, but you can go in and preview the book if you have an account or if you don't have an account. Let's get that back in focus. Or we can also play the book. We can save it if we want to, to come back, uh, whether we're on the computer or the phone here. And you can see it gives you your information, tells you about the book. Sorry about the focus here. Yeah, it's a little blurry. Tells you the size of the book, the file size, if you want to stream that and you want to consider that or factor that into your data plan, uh, especially if you're doing it not on Wi-Fi. So this one tells me 300 megabytes for a 10 hour book. You can get into some of these that are 20, 30, uh, much bigger. So if we go in, we're logged in. We've been logged out of another active session, so we'll click OK. There's my book. There's the save book. And then we can continue from there. Go over here. We have it on a tablet. And we can also see that the same books listed here on the, this is a Zoom. Same thing. We're actually going to audiobooks.com. And in this case, I did not have to redirect to the mobile browser. I just log in. I can go and do the exact same thing, browse books, continue listening. So we'll tap that. So it should pick up right where we left off with the other one. Oh, that's the one it says we logged out of. So
If you're wondering, I'm actually recording this on a phone, uh, Galaxy Nexus. So that's why you've seen it focus in and out a little bit. Continue listening. Could not open a new pop up window, only one can be opened. Apparently, I have another one open. So, anyways, um, that'll do the same thing. I, I listen to it from the tablet here. If I go switch up to the phone, uh, it's very, very convenient. Uh, again, it's $24.95 if you want to try it out. It does work on Android or iOS. Uh, feel free to go to audiobooks.com, check it out, browse, see what they have available. Uh, there's plenty of books. Obviously, it's not as big as something, say, a Barnes & Noble, uh, Amazon, but for something that's specifically audiobooks, selection's pretty nice. Reviews are really good, and I definitely recommend it. Uh, you know, And try it out for seven days. It's free. Do not be fooled by the application in the Google Play Store. It is not an official one. It does not work. Uh, I've tried it before, and I was confused. Uh, after speaking with rep from audiobooks, I found that it's not an actual app, but one is coming. Just don't have a date at this time. So take a look at that. It's in the audiobooks.com from whatever Android device you have and PC, iOS. Thanks, and if you have uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to me, scott at androidguys.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about this or any other applications. Be sure to check us out on androidguys.com on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks.